Though he's the presumptive GOP nominee, Donald Trump remains unpopular with some in his own party. He also faces challenges with younger voters. Among millennials, he has a 75 percent unfavorable rating. Mo Rocca learned firsthand some of the ways Trump needs may need to reach out to this key group. Mo is across the convention floor from us. Hey, good morning. Good morning. I'm over by South Carolina. Uh, given the choice between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, 70 percent of Americans under the age of 30 choose someone else. So we went ahead and we talked to some of the youngest delegates here at the convention about what Donald Trump needs to do to get their votes. It will take a lot for me to vote for Donald Trump in November. Um, I am a Hispanic and young and a female, and and so it will take a lot for me. Arizona delegate Amanda Naylor Flores is 18 years old and headed for Harvard in the fall, but she still doesn't know how she's voting in November. But I also don't think that Hillary Clinton is a better candidate. And so I don't, I don't, I honestly don't know, you know, where that leaves us as a country. I was never really a Trump supporter. Uh, I, I probably won't be until he's officially nominated. At just 17, Vermont delegate Jace LeCare is among the youngest at this convention. What would make you less of a reluctant Trump voter, more of an enthusiastic supporter of his? Well, I think if he had a more liberty-oriented liberty uh, message, uh, that's one that resonates with young people, you know, privacy and non-interventionalist foreign policy. Would you say you have a fire in the belly for Trump? Yes, I do. Um, and that's really more of that I represent the people who elected me in. And it's not that I loved him at first, but I still am going to support him. It sounds like you came around to him. Yes. 18-year-old Nevada delegate Ryder Haig is obligated to vote for Trump according to his state's winner-take-all rules. Are there any positions that he takes that you think, geez, I wish he was different on that? Um, actually, no, none, none come to mind with that one. None? None. You're allowed to say, I mean, like... No, that's okay, but I, honestly, really more, it's, I hope he does maybe tone down, he has started toning down his tone a little bit, but the fact is, is that I do still support him either way. You know, I think Donald has quite a few things, good qualities he can offer the Republican Party. Likewise, 18-year-old Joel Crank from Colorado offered his support for Donald Trump, with some reservations. Your, your support sounds pretty qualified. Yeah, um, you know, there are some things. When he mentioned a ban on Muslims, that's something that could not happen here in the United States of America. It's kind of ridiculous. For you first-time voters, it's important for you to know what it means to be an American. Young voters recorded from the podium throughout the first night of the convention. To my generation, that was for y'all. To the next generation, this is for you. Your war is here. We need new programs to help the poor and opportunities to challenge the young. But this group, not easily swayed by rhetoric, offered some sentiment of their own when it comes to the direction of the party they've just joined. Do you have a vision for what the Republican Party of the future looks like? A uh, tolerant party, inviting party to everyone, all groups, all ages, all ethnicities, and that's the type of party I would like to see in the future. You know, there's a saying about the youth, 26% um, population, 100% future. Without the Republican Party learning to grow and bring in that youth, there, there really is no future. So these are just four young delegates, but it's pretty remarkable that none of them is all in on the man that this convention is here to nominate. It was interesting in the hall yesterday, they said we might not be on the same page now, but by November we will. Maybe. So we'll see. Thank you, Mo.